tale of some of the bad losses you had this year? Where do you put this one? No, just behind me. Already? Yeah, just the NBA. Trying to get to the playoffs, so that's where the fun begins. Kyrie, they're going a 20 to 7 run to start the third quarter. Do you think you guys play with the, uh, was that more of a product of energy, your energy you guys brought out or them knocking down shots? No, they were just in the rhythm early. You know, uh, Markinen and Levine, you know, so they got it going in the first quarter, into the first quarter, and then kept it going throughout the whole entire game. You know, once a guy in this league gets it going, it's pretty hard to stop. Just starting at the point where you're concerned that the struggle that you guys have will leak into the playoffs? No, no, I'll be fine. Why do you think that? Because I'm here. 22 games left in the season. When does that urgency click on for you guys that, all right, we need to start getting it going? Uh, you know, before that playoff run starts. They said, repeat that question one more time. 22 games before the playoffs start. Mm -hmm. What do you think the sense of urgency needs to be? Is that a narrative that's overblown, or is that something you guys need really need to do down the stretch here? I don't know about any narrative being overblown, but um, you know, it was basketball, so got some figuring out to do. Go back, watch film. Obviously, some effort plays that you know we we really could have covered for one another. Um, you know, just execution on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, being able to give each other space, make basketball plays, replays, you know, and just play a game at a high level. Um, you know, out of these last two games, we haven't done that at the level that we've been capable of. So, um, you know, we just got to continue to get better. You guys have pointed pretty consistently to effort going up. And you said what? You guys have pointed to effort going up and down pretty consistently through the year. Is there anything you can put a finger on as to why that happens and what? Is there just a matter of flipping a switch and fixing it now? It's game to game. I mean, we've beaten the tough teams in this league. I mean, you know, we've proven that we're, we're capable of beating the tough teams in this league and playing well against them. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure. Is that part frustrating, Kyrie, that you guys seem to have played down to some of the level of the poorer teams, yet played inch for inch with the better teams? Man, I don't get frustrated anymore, honestly. Um, you know, this is just, just all part of our season of, uh, you know, just learning one another. So, it's just part of it. It's all right if you miss shots, and but tonight there were you know, there were balls that bounced on the ground, rebounds that right bounced mm -hmm. on the ground. I mean that that's effort, isn't it? Yeah. You're right. You're right. And that doesn't bother you or frustrate you? I mean, you know that's a that's a choice that we all have to make. Um, you know, and as a team, as a collective, I know we all you know have winning at the forefront of our mind. At least I, you know, I hope so. And um, you know, you just go about it every single day the way you prepare and go out into the game and the lineups that we have and, and what we're doing. And, you know, you just got to be able to adapt. And uh, in this league, you know, the teams that adapt the, the quickest or, you know, they adapt at the right time, you know, are successful in the, in the playoffs, as you know. Um, so, you know, we're still waiting for that thing to click where, you know, we've gone on eight games, six games, four games winning streak. And then, you know, we'll hit a lull of three games and then we're back answering questions like this. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I don't get frustrated about this stuff anymore. It's just part of the regular season, you know, in the playoffs when we could plan for a team, prepare for a team. You know, I still don't see anybody beating us in seven games. So.